Thank you for joining me in our wonderful choir loft, our encouraging moment this week. In this Lenten season, these 40 days seem to be going on for a while. It feels like we've been in these 40 days for a year now. How can 40 days last so long? It's interesting to look at the Bible and see how many times 40 days comes up. Lent is us walking with Jesus in his 40 days in the desert when he was being tempted by Satan. There was the 40 days of rain before the flood in the book of Genesis. 40 years that were spent wandering around in the wilderness. The number 40 is such a prevalent number in the Bible. So often it's a time of trials of tribulation, of judgment, of reconciliation, and having to own up for ways that we have not served God, ways that we have gone against God through idol worship, through other gods that we have in our lives. And that's been what it's like for the last year. It's been a journey through the wilderness that feels like it's been 40 years, not 40 days. But there's also another side of these 40 days. The 40 days don't just represent trials, tribulations, but they represent new life. They represent the resurrection. At the end of those 40 days, there is hope and there is light the tomb will be rolled open, the stone rolled away. The waters that flooded the earth will recede. A dove and a rainbow will appear. We will reach the promised land so very soon. So even though these 40 days feel like 40 years, know that there is newness coming, new life, new creation, new opportunities.